Welcome back, everybody, to The Matrix Unveiled. My name is Thunuj, and I help people evolve their consciousness. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down for you the truth about energy fields. What is an energy field? And how can you learn to control your own energy fields? See, there's a lot of misconceptions about energy fields. There's a lot of nonsense and just bad information on the internet about energy fields and as someone who is an energy practitioner as someone who has studied and dedicated their life to learning about the universal energy fields I feel it's my responsibility to really share the truth about this topic so without further ado let's get right into the topic so an energy field is the bioelectricity. Bioelectricity means the energy that comes off of a living organism. Okay? Bioelectricity is the energy that our nervous system uses to operate all of our organs, our hearts, our brain, our senses, our uh, skin our muscles, our tissue, all of that stuff within our human body is powered by bioelectricity. Okay, so understand that the chakras are just the endocrine glands. And when you learn to map those different glands, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the thymus, um, the pancreas, the uh, reproductive organs, all of those glands and the adrenal glands, those are all your chakra system. This is all a technology that you've been given within your body that you need to learn how to activate with your energy. This is what I talk about in my courses. I go into very in-depth detail on how to actually use your energy to activate those specific glands to release a hormone, to release an energy frequency by those glands, by those hormones which changes your perception of reality. So that was a lot of information. I hope you guys didn't get lost when I was explaining that. But basically what I'm saying is that you can use your bioenergy field, your bioelectrical field. A lot of people in the new age like to call it the aura or the Merkaba field. And the Merkaba field basically is this, <clears throat> this spinning field, right? It's a field that spins. And what, what does it mean when it spins? It means that the energy is constantly circulating. The energy is constantly moving around and flowing. So you have a Taurus field, which is your Merkaba field, your Merkaba field, um, and it's around you. It goes past your body, and basically this energy field is all around you. It's protecting you. This is your soul essence. Your Merkaba field, your energy field, your bioelectricity is your soul. This is what's powering your human vessel known as your human avatar, okay? Your human avatar is powered by your thymus, which is your heart chakra. Your heart, your thymus, this is a center gland. Just like if you watch the movie Iron Man. Iron Man has a gold, not a gold, um, a titanium alloy chest or a, a whatever they call it. I don't remember the exact element. Um, but his chest is basically a diamond and of course I'm wearing my diamond sweatshirt right now Which is representational of the heart chakra the heart chakra is where all of the power of a being's energy comes from because love is that universal force that connects you into Everything so the more love you can exude the stronger your energy field will become so Let's talk about energy fields. What do they do and what is their purpose? An energy field is, as I said before, the, the chi, the prana, the electromagnetism within the person's body. This energy field contains a person's emotions, their thoughts, their feelings, their intuitions, their past lives, uh, memories, experiences. All of these different things are contained within the person's energy field. This energy field is a soul uh, system, basically. It is a, a calibration of information. 
because it is light. Just like your physical body is made out of light, this energy field is light. It's simply in a spectrum of light that human beings normally do not access with their eyes. So how can you actually learn to see these energy fields and work with these energy fields? Well, understand one thing first, everything has an energy field. Plants have energy fields. Trees have energy fields. Inanimate objects such as this cup has an, ener has an energy field. It's just that living things tend to have much stronger energy fields because they are alive. They have active nervous systems. That's the key right there. The nervous system is the thing that allows us to feel, that allows us to process information and to basically use it as a network to travel signals back and forth. So remember that the trees have roots, they have branches. These branches and trees act as their nerves and they're all connected. They have something called the root network or the worldwide uh, root or whatever you want to call it, the worldwide um, root system, which is basically like their version of the internet. They have all of their branches are connected to each other and they can pass information just like fungal networks. You should look up what how a fungal network works. Fungus also communicates in the same way through electrical signals. The same way that your brain communicates, which is through electrical synapses and charges and communication. So, understanding all of this basic biology and basic science, as I said in many of my videos, I'm very science oriented and very uh, logical oriented. But I understand that the universe is very mystical and mysterious and, and, you know, metaphysical. But when you understand what science actually is, it can explain a lot of this stuff. And it's important for us to learn the true scientific knowledge, the true mathematical knowledge of the universe. So the energy field is a conscious, living, breathing organism. And see, the truth is that we are always in the energy field. Mother Earth has her own energy field. We're constantly swimming within the Schumann Resonance, which is the energy field of the Earth. And so that energy is constantly emitting different frequencies, constantly fluctuating. As you get more in tune with the energy field, as you get more in tune with your own energy fields, you begin to be able to expand your energy field, contract your energy field, charge your energy field up and do many different kinds of things with your energy field. You can use your energy field to connect to the wind, to the elements, to move matter with your mind. You can use your energy field to project thoughts, to create things with your mind, to create weather, to create fire, to stop fires, to slow down weather, to slow down tornadoes, to increase tornadoes. Part of what you see me demonstrate on my channel, which is aerokinesis, psychokinesis, these abilities, this is because I have a certain level of mastery over my own energy fields, which allows me to basically interact with other sentient energy fields. Understand, this is a sentient, conscious interaction that you are partaking in when you work with energy fields. You must realize your energy field and the other energy fields around you are all very, very sentient. They're smart. They're highly intelligent. They know when you're going in for the wrong reason. So understand that if you have notions of evil or power or selfishness or greed or destruction, this kinds of stuff, that energy will be put out into the environment and the environment will read that frequency and shut you down. So if you're having troubles with aerokinesis, thinking that you're powerful, that's the reason why, because the in environment will not tolerate that kind of energy um, that you are emitting, and it's going to just turn you off. So how do you actually activate your Merkaba field? How do you actually activate your energy field? Well, I have a lot of courses on this information. I have the Charge Your Soul's Energy course, which teaches you how to activate your Merkaba field with certain breathing exercises, certain uh, basically energy exercises where you use your energy to flow with your energy and to tap into the energy fields around you as well 
to allow a harmonious interaction between your energy and everything else. Okay. You can also learn psychokinesis, which is what I've been teaching people lately, which is the ability to move objects with your energy. This requires a surgical level of precision over your own energy field. Because if you don't have that surgical level of precision, you won't be able to actually move the object the way that you want to make it move. You will just have random motions. This is all about mastering your energy. And activating your Merkaba field has to do with your connection to the universe. Your connection to how much you meditate, how much you train with energy, how much you know how to really tap into the frequencies and into nature... And how much you know how to let go of things that are no longer serving you, such as attachments to people, desires, lust, um, controlling habits, negativity, anger, fear, those kinds of things. They're all going to block your energy field. They're going to make you dense and they're going to make your energy less high vibrational, lower vibrational, which is going to cause you to not be able to flow with the energy fields around you as much. And so the key is to understand that your Merkaba field can be activated at will. It is a switch. It can be turned on and off at will when you get really good. I have gotten to the point where I can turn my energy field on and off at will. Sometimes when I'm emotional, it will turn on uh, kind of by accident because I'm releasing emotional energy and that just goes into the environment So, you know, it's important to learn to control your emotions when you have a stronger energy field, but understand that it will take you a long time before you're out here really having to worry about how much your emotions affect other people because most people's energy fields are very, very weak. They haven't trained them. They haven't done any sort of work on their consciousness. Therefore, they're not really affecting their environment. They're not a conscious player. They're an NPC. If you want to become a conscious player in this reality, if you want to become an actual being in this reality, you must raise your frequency, you must activate your Merkaba field, and learn to control your energy. When you do this, you will no longer fear 5G, you will no longer fear the vaccines, you will no longer fear the government, you will no longer fear anybody, because you will realize how much strength how much internal energy, how much power you have over your reality. Understand this concept and really take this, take this to heart because you are limitless. The amount of energy that you can access is limitless. You can connect to the universe. You can become the infinite being that you are. And I am here to guide you to that destination. If you're interested in really learning about your energy field, activating your Merkaba field, reach out to me and apply for personal sessions for one-on-one coaching. In the description below will be a form where uh, you can apply. If you're interested in this, um, go ahead and do that. But understand that I am very serious here with this work and I do not give out high levels of information to beginners. You have to work your way up there. You have to really become humble and let go of your ego So if you're demanding information from me, like some people try to do in the comments section, uh, understand I will block you because I don't have time for that kind of stuff. And I'm on a mission here to share my knowledge, but I have to be very careful with who I share my knowledge because people will abuse this knowledge. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button for me and share this video with a friend if you think this information is valuable as well as check out thematrixunveil.com because it's going to have a lot more information. Um, Check out the courses which will teach you exactly how to activate your energy field if you're serious about this knowledge. A lot of people aren't really serious about their consciousness and their evolution. They don't understand. What's the point? Why Why should I care about my consciousness? Well, understand, your consciousness is all you have. That's all you are, your consciousness. You don't take anything with you when you die. You don't take your money, you don't take your family, you don't take your girlfriends, you don't take your house. You only have yourself. You only have your presence, your beingness, your energy. So you might as well master that within this earth realm. Because guess what? That's why you incarnated in the first place. 
You came here to learn how to master your energy. So you might as well learn how to do that. Because in the higher dimensions, when you think a thought, it instantly manifests. In the earth realm, we have a delayed reaction to prevent beginner level creators from causing destructive things. Because if everyone was manifesting instantly what they thought with their mind now, we would have tsunamis, we'd have hurricanes, we'd have the virus spreading like a wildfire, even more so than it is quote unquote spreading, all kinds of stuff like this. Understand that your energy is the most important thing that you have. You must master your energy fields. I'm here to guide you. Much love, guys. Check out the website. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.